When I joined the organization, I was working with Dr. Minu Fuglesan, the founder and uh, executive director of Femina Hip. And it was a period of me understanding her vision and looking at how she came to start this organization and why, and how she'd maintained it for so many years. My name is Ruth Mlai, and I am the first Tanzanian executive director of Femina Hip. 2019, 2020, uh, Minu said that she was looking to phase out of being the executive director. She wanted to retire. I was uh, selected to become the executive director. But this all came at a really challenging time during uh, the COVID-19 period. And we needed to figure out what are we going to do to ensure that we're maintaining our audience, the young people. So we quickly transitioned into the digital space and started running campaigns online. And the vision for the organization going forward is a world where the East African youth seamlessly integrate uh, with the digital age. We want to make sure that the young people understand that they can still challenge societal boundaries, create an inclusive world, but we need to do this using the digital space and low tech for Tanzania, because that's where we are at, use technology to be able to create a new future. We're also looking at how the years and years of information and experience that we've gathered can help us to create a youth hub. And we're already starting doing that by pulling in our resources and working with people outside of our borders to make sure that we are filling our young people with information that can individually support them to grow, but also bring them in as a collective and help them to move forward. So over the past 25 years, we have had some really rich uh, partnerships. The staff who've worked with Femina Hip and those who've been a part of our journey are what we call the Femina family. Who we are this day is because of the teachers. They give back to the organization a lot more than we can even imagine. And the partners who've worked with us in the past and continue to work with us, the donors who've been with us for over 20 years, the Swedish and the Danish embassies, we couldn't have done this without them. We've had so many funders in the past. I also want to make a special mention to the government of Tanzania over these 25 years and helped us to be who we are today.